In this video, I share with you the do's and don'ts of writing your reference section of your CV or resume. My name is Modesta Mahiga. I've been taking you step by step through a series that guides you to writing a professional CV or resume as they call it in the US. Now, what is the purpose of having a reference section on your CV? The purpose of a reference section is to get third party evaluation of your knowledge, skills, attitude, experience, as far as it relates to the opportunity you're applying for. Reviewers want to see somebody else other than yourself speaking highly of your ability to deliver in this role. Preferably have people that have supervised you write your references. There is a question as to whether or not to have a reference section on your CV at all. And I would say, please do because reviewers may want to make a decision very quickly. And so they would go from looking at your CV or resume and immediately deciding that they want to contact your references so that they can process you for the next level. They don't want to go through the hurdles of then reaching out to you first and then asking you about the references. Of course, there's another school of thought that says, wait a second, I would like to know that I am being considered for the next level and I would like to prep my referees first. Please listen to these do's and don'ts of your reference section on your CV. Please do include people that know you well, that know your work well, and that would speak favorably about you. Do not include people that don't know you well, that don't know your work well, and certainly that will not speak favorably about you, whether they don't like you or you fell out somehow, that is not going to help your application. Make sure also that you contact them beforehand, sharing your latest CV, sharing the opportunity you're applying for. So whether it's going to be the job description or terms of reference, and even stating that you're available to speak through this opportunity and what you've done recently, should that make them more comfortable to give a good reference for you. Do not surprise your referees by having third parties contacting them to give a reference for you. If they haven't spoken to you for a long time, if they don't know what you've been up to recently, and if they have no clue about the role that you're applying for and what it requires of you, I would recommend that you have two professional referees, people that have supervised you, people that are reputable and people that will speak well of your competencies and suitability for this opportunity and then have one character or academic referee, somebody who knows you in person, somebody who themselves is respected and credible, or have somebody from academia when you have studied, maybe they supervise your dissertation and they can then speak of your work ethic. Please don't get family members or get maybe a famous person that you think would be very impressive to be seen on your CV, but does not know you, your work or your suitability for this role. So what would the format look like? You would have the person's full name slash their designation or title slash the organization they work for slash their email and slash their number, starting with the country code. I want you to take note of this. Sometimes it's a little controversial to ask your current supervisor to be your referee for a role you're applying for, unless you're good with them and you've told them that there's an opportunity coming up, understand that they will be code they will be written to and asked to give their reference, their evaluation of your capacity for a new opportunity. If they don't know that you want to leave or things are not good with you, they may be biased and write a bad reference for you. So it is preferred unless you're in good relations and you have told your supervisor that you're going to apply for another opportunity and they're happy to give a reference for you that you instead put previous supervisors as referees under your reference section. If for instance, a person was your supervisor in a certain organization, you're no longer there. They're no longer there. Write their details as where they are right now. Should you be asked or should they be asked how they know you in what capacity, in which organization, then both of you can reference back to when you met and when they had supervised you. In situations where you either cannot reach your previous supervisor or you are not in good relationship with them and you would rat or you are not in good relationship with them and you would rather not have them as referees, then look for somebody else that you had worked with closely, somebody who is credible, somebody who hopefully knows you and your work and your contribution well, that can speak favorably for you. This might raise eyebrows and you should be ready to explain at the interview stage 
why this is a referee and not somebody else. But it is in very rare cases that I have seen reviewers or interviewers asking people, why do you have this referee and not this one? And those are the do's and don'ts of writing a reference section on your CV or resume. And that sums up our series on a step-by-step -step guide to writing your professional CV or resume. My question to you is, what stage are you on? Specifically, which section of your CV or resume do you have challenges with? Do you need help? Schedule a discovery call with me on www.modestamahiga.com. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Thank you for joining me on this series on a step-by-step -step guide to writing your professional CV or resume.